Hey guys, Mark the Mentor here, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 business ideas for a box truck. So if you got a box truck just sitting around and you don't know what to do with it, or you're looking to purchase a box truck and don't have any ideas, stick around for the rest of this video, and I'll give you some ideas on how to make some money from it. Stay tuned. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Okay, so before we get started, guys, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to smash that subscribe button. I need you to hit the like button. And I also need you to hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. A box truck is a tool and an asset that a person can use to bring in income. There's plenty of different things you can do with a box truck. And in this video, I'm going to give you 10. So let's get started. Number one, a moving service. Someone's always looking to move something, whether it's one piece or a whole house. Someone's always looking for someone with a truck. It's an easy business to start, and you can also make a lot of money from it. A while back, I did a video on how to start a moving business step by step. I'll post it here or here for your reference. Find a friend, get some equipment, post on Angie's List or Thumbtack, and get started. You'll be up and running soon, and you'll be on your way to making a lot of money. Number two, a junk removal business. Just like a moving business, there's always someone looking for you to haul away their junk. Believe it or not, 1-800-GOT-JUNK is a multi-million dollar business just hauling away people's belongings and taking them to the dump. Once you get your box truck, post ads on Angie's List or Thumbtack, purchase some equipment like push rooms, shovels, sledgehammers, etc., and get started. It's an easy business to get started. You'll make a lot of money from it. Make sure you incorporate the dumping fee into the cost that you charge the customers to haul away their junk, and you'll be making a lot of money in no time. Number three, a logistics owner operator. If you got a box truck, sign up with a logistics company. We're in an e-commerce generation. People order things 24 hours a day that have to be delivered. Sign up with a logistics company, get a route, and you'll be guaranteed to make somewhere between $750 to $1,200 a day delivering anything from furniture to appliances. I also did a video on how to start your own furniture and appliance delivery business. I'll post it here or here for your reference. Number four, a mobile billboard. Believe it or not, corporations will pay you big money to wrap your box truck. They'll pay to wrap it and they'll pay you to drive it eight to 10 hours a day on a specific route. It's easy money. It doesn't require physical labor such as lifting and pulling. You're just getting paid to drive. Once again, they're gonna pay for the wrap and they're gonna pay you to drive your vehicle around every day, all day. Number five, an event furniture rental business. COVID changed the way people do activities outside. Because of COVID, a lot of activities and events were pushed to the outside. So there's a big demand for table rental and chair rental. If you got a box truck, you can go to Sam's Club or Costco and you can purchase tables and chairs wholesale. They don't cost that much and they're gonna pay for themselves after the first rental. In the summertime, you're guaranteed to make a lot of money just renting tables and chairs every day or every weekend. Obviously, you'll need a box truck to drop the tables and the chairs off and you'll also need the box truck to pick the tables and the chairs back up but this is guaranteed a great way to make a lot of money from a box truck number six an on-demand carrier just like the e-commerce industry right now we're in a generation where people just want things done on demand no one wants to wait so whether it's court papers or important legal documents sometimes there's businesses or lawyers or important uh, corporations that are willing to pay top dollar to have someone pick up these important uh, documents and take them across town or even just down the street because they don't want to put them in the mail or they don't want to walk them down there or they don't want to drive them down there themselves. So if you got a box truck, you can make money doing on-demand carrier. It's easy. You're not lifting really anything heavy. It's pretty much just documents. Look it up, 
get licensed and get started. Number seven, a food truck. This business model has become really popular. It's a cheaper alternative to opening up a brick and mortar restaurant. There's plenty of people that are into the food truck business. You can buy a food truck that's already outfitted for a food truck, or you can buy just a regular box truck and get it outfitted. Some cities require licensing to service food out of a truck. So look it up in your city, get licensed and get started. Number eight, a box truck rental business. U-Haul is a multi-billion dollar business just off renting trucks and trailers. Get a box truck and rent it out. You don't have to do any moving. You don't have to lift anything. Believe it or not, we're in a do-it-yourself generation. You may come to find out that you may make more money renting out box trucks than actually doing physical labor with the box truck yourself. Number nine, a mobile hair salon. I'm starting to see these pop up in my city more and more each year. It's a cheaper alternative to renting or purchasing a brick and mortar and opening it up in a salon. In today's society, people are working for themselves. People are working from home. So opening up a brick and mortar salon and trying to rent booths may be risky. You can buy a box truck, outfit it on the inside, get a generator and do your salon business yourself. You don't have to rely on others paying you booth rent and it's mobile. You can take it anywhere. Number 10, a storage business. Now you're probably thinking, why would I start a storage business with a box truck? Who's gonna store items in something that has an engine and four wheels and it's on the move? Well, let me tell you, there's plenty of box trucks that have been retired or, or downed or in salvage yards that are old and just out of service, out of commission. The boxes may still be in good condition. Did you know that U-Haul makes millions of dollars from their old out of commission box trucks? They simply remove the box, put siding on it, paint it, and line them up. When you go to a U-Haul facility, they have indoor storage and they have outside storage. Did you know that most of the time, the outside storage units are actually old boxes from like the 26 foot box trucks. They remove the boxes and they just outfit them for storage. This may be the cheapest alternative. If you have some land and you're looking to start a storage business, this may be the cheapest way to get started. And that's it guys, 10 box truck business ideas. Hopefully one of those ideas spark your interest and you get started. If so, make sure you come back and let me know in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. I'm out. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you can toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you want.